Uh, heroes and generals. It's been over a year now since the game was officially sunsetted by TLM. And in the year for the vast majority of the players that used to play it day and night, they are still looking for something to replace it with. I mean, it's really, really weird when you think about it. There's just something that is incredibly irresistible about a scuffed ass free to play game that is outdated, bad looking graphics, incompetent devs that just don't listen to the community and treat them like shit. And yet somehow you just always find yourself coming back for more and unable to replace it with anything else. Like a really abusive relationship with someone that just, you know, never treats you well, never does anything for you, always puts himself first, treats you really badly, even in front of other people. And yet somehow you find yourself unable to move on from them and even more attracted to them. Maybe we're all just masochists or maybe from the moment that we started playing HNG for the first time, our brains have been screwed on backwards to the point where we're unable to enjoy any other normal video game. We just have to find something that is constantly painful, annoying and just draining mentally and physically to be able to enjoy it, if you want to call that enjoyment anyways. But still, HNG is gone and to this very day I get comments all over my YouTube videos telling me that I miss this game, I wish there's some way for us to bring it back i still can't find anything to replace it with there are some people that have left comments saying that they've been playing other things but to tell you the truth in all of the comments i've read about people that have are actually playing something else now i haven't found a single one that says that they have actively replaced it it's more like hey i'm playing this now not that i want to it's just i can't play hng so i might as well play this which you know what i respect that but the sheer number of people that say I can't find anything to play now is quite staggering. And since the anniversary of HNG being put down just went by like a month ago, I have uh, come to the conclusion that it's time for me to move on from HNG. It's time for all of us to move on from HNG. But the question still remains move on to what? And that's why I have decided to take on a mighty quest to find the HNG replacement. Something that we can all play and be happy again. A good relationship for once with a good partner that treats you right and doesn't abuse you. <clears throat> that being said, the very first game that I have decided to try out to see if it works as a replacement for HNG is um, <clears throat> War Thunder. Now hear me out, hear me out. I know what you're gonna say. I know what you're gonna say. I get it. I, I get how this sounds like, okay? The snail is quite notorious. But at the same time, beggars can be choosers. I decided to give the game a try for reals and see how it goes. So I installed the game back on my PC. I haven't actually played this game in like 10 years. I tried it out like once it came out, I think on Steam. I played it for a little bit and then I started playing HNG and well, you know the rest. So when I got back into the game, what you need to understand is that I didn't have much progress in it. I never spent money in the game. So my opinion on the game is going to be that of someone that is basically playing the game for the first time, almost. Uh, this far I haven't done a lot of flying, I've mainly been playing as tanks and let me tell you, if you're someone that used to enjoy tanking in HNG exclusively, then this is definitely the game for you. From what I've seen so far, this is probably the best tank versus tank gameplay I have seen anywhere really. When you compare this game to World of Tanks, I think War Thunder is better in terms of realism. It is definitely the more realistic game and for all the people that used to play HNG and are really into like World War 2 tanks, I would say War Thunder is the game for you. So many tanks to choose from and play with and I would say that these tanks have very realistic models and the damage models in the game are also quite realistic. Not to the point where the game is like ultra realistic like Arma or some of the simulation games. Don't get me wrong the game is still quite arcadey. Uh, the armor models in this make it so that you have to actually know which tank you're targeting, what are the weak points, what are the strong points. The game does its best guiding your hand through that depending on the game mode that you're playing. If you're playing arcadey game modes you're gonna find like, like the HUD gives you hints whether or not your current shell can penetrate the, the part of the tank that you're aiming at. If you're looking for an arcadey game, but not as arcadey as World of Tanks, I would say War Thunder is a game for you. Like I said, there are still realistic modes in this game, but I'm yet to try them really, so I can't tell for sure. I've been mainly playing with the German tanks. I'm yet to try the other factions, but it's actually quite fun. Now, guaranteed, I'm, I was never really what you call a tank main in HNG. I never fully just embraced the tank life. So for me to be able to play a game like War Thunder, where you're just playing tank versus tanks, and actually somewhat enjoy it that is not an easy thing to do now that being said the game is made by the snail people and as we've uh, <clears throat> seen in the past they have some issues the first thing you need to understand is that the grind in this game is literally everything the grind in this game is 
inhuman you're gonna be doing a lot of grinding to be able to get anything decent to play with now the good thing is that if you're looking to play with world war ii tanks the grind is not actually that long the tanks are split into tiers you start with like level one tiers and then as you unlock and buy them you start unlocking tier twos and then tier threes and so on and so forth also the world war ii iconic tanks you know the tigers the the shermans the t34 85s and all that they are like between tier three and tier four so you're not gonna be grinding for a long time to get to them once you get the tank itself you need to play a little bit more with it to be able to grind that individual tank to unlock better parts and better equipment and all that to get the best out of it i would say the gameplay itself is fun for me i've been playing now 10 hours in the last week and the game hasn't started to stagnate or become boring yet if anything is actually starting to become more fun if you're someone that is okay with grinding if you're someone that is looking for a good tank versus tank game then this game is definitely for you just beware the snail will try to brainwash you into taking all the money in your wallet so just you know be careful bye